the simple cooking with airy. And on today, I'm going to show you how to fry catfish. One of my subscribers' name, well, I think his name is Reverend Sanders, asked me would I do a video on how to fry catfish. And you know, uh, when I started this channel, I thought about doing different things, but I said, you know, a lot of people know how to cut up a chicken, how to fry a chicken, how to fry fish. But I realized that a lot of people just really want to know or even just want to see how I do it. So, Reverend Sanders, this video is for you. Uh, I have my uh, company in the kitchen with me, my niece, Janaea. I ain't way too. I'm going to show Janaea how to fry fish. Even though she done been around me all her life, she still want to know how to fry fish. She's trying to learn. So, you know, earlier I went live and did gumbo live. Janaea didn't make it here in time to learn how to do the gumbo. Look and say how to lend them. My other niece to lay them. Hey, y'all. So, my uncle is the best cook. So as you all see, ghetto calling out in the background. We got, look folks, how much gumbo I made today out of 60 bucks. Look, look, two pots of gumbo, but we're not here to do gumbo. We're here to talk about this fish. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start up. Turn on our skillet. And you all, as you all see, I done got some of that on um, for that pot top. Janelle, get on over here, Janelle, so you pay attention. Okay, I'm coming so closer. So we, we got our skillet. And I should have used it up, but I wanted to use this cast iron skillet just to do this fish real quick. So, while grease is getting hot, so Janelle, come on over here. So, as you all can see, that, now we got two big pots of gumbo, so I'm only going to do these three pieces of fish. But I have some catfish steak. They done been washed and they've been drying on this paper towel. Because you want your fish to make sure that it's dry before you uh, stump fry it. So we're going to cover that and set this to the side. And what we're going to do, we're going to mix up. Now, what I have here, I have some yellow cornmeal. I'm going to put a little cornmeal in here. And then I'm dropping stuff. Okay, put that on. All right. And then I'm going to add a little flour, just a little flour. Then I'm going to add... I'm going to season the, the breading instead of seasoning the fish. A little garlic. A little paprika. I know people, you want your fish to taste good. And I think I'm just going to do a little seasoning salt. And use as much as you want. Then just Janelle something will do this. Okay, so you so you season your my you, breading, right? Breading instead of your fish. Right. Does it make a difference in the taste? No, but you know, the breading is already it's the coating on the fish, so you know a lot of people might do them both, but you know, this this is why I do it. because uh, the breading is the first thing you bite onto, you taste. So True. And then, folks, you can make whatever type of season you want it to be. Whatever type of season you want. Whatever type of season you want it to be. And that's it. We'll watch our grease get real hot. Remember, people. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, don't forget what we're doing for the holiday. And um, please, if you have you if you have not subscribed, please subscribe. Cause you're gonna miss a wonderful treat. We we got so much stuff going on up in this kitchen today. So our grease is not in there. It's not hot right now. So we're gonna we're gonna try. We got to give it time to get hot. Okay. But folks, it's so simple and easy. How to do certain things, and, and that's what this channel is for, Janelle, to teach young cooks like you, old folks that can't cook, <laughs> uh, middle-aged people that can't cook, single people. This channel was designed to teach people how to do basic cooking, simple cooking. And, and, and if you realize you can do simple cooking, but you can make delicious dishes. That's what I like. So, that's what you like. So, that's what we want. That's what this channel See, it, it's not ready. Well, I know it is because the cast iron, it takes a while for it to get hot. Okay. That's why I test it. You know, some people drop a little drop of water on 
I just take a little of my bread and put it in when it stops fizzling up. So you have any questions while we waiting? You know what? I don't at the moment. How do you know when a fish is done? That's a good one. That's a good one. How do you know when it's done? You don't know because you know fish don't take that long to cook. I don't. You know what? I can't really say. I mean, I just it's almost like you just know. You know I'm gonna show you. Okay. You just know. And could y'all hear Linda? Hi. We got mosquitoes in here. Yeah. Uh -uh. So I'm going to get some um, some tongs or something. Any other questions, Linda? Um, no. Why did you get so Linda? So far, not. No. Well, what kind of oil do you? The vegetable best? oil. Vegetable oil. Fried best. meat, Greek. No, but my, but you know what? Usually um, when I do fish. I, I like to do start with fresh oil. Okay. And then you I never I never say fresh or green. You yeah. Never yeah. say it. What you finna say, Linda? Um with fish, can you use flour or no? Yeah, you use flour. Oh, okay. Yeah, you use flour. But you know the uh, uh most people fry fish with cornmeal. Right. Oh, but I do a, I do a, I always take the straight corner and then add a little flour to my. Okay. I think it makes it crunchier. Right, gives you that crunch. And folks, what I'm doing, and I'm using these tongs, you know, because I've been feeding different fish and chicken all day. But you know, a lot of we don't use no tongue. We just get out, take our hand, and dip it in the cornmeal and go to fry. It's still almost, you all. It's almost. Okay, so good way to test it. Brother Sanders, and this is for you. You know, me, I, I wanted to honor your request. Your request. And look at, uh, to my all my subscribers, if you want to know, if you want to want me to try something, uh, just leave me a comment like everyone else. Leave me a comment. Somebody wanted me to do gumbo. I did it today. And I will try my best. It. It's so good. You enjoying the gumbo? Yes. Yes, I enjoy yeah. it myself. Good. Like I said, I made that whole, them two pots for less than sixty bucks, and they are meaty. They're not. It's yes. the, the, the feel is it's very filling. Y'all, these are unedited videos. Simple cooking with Eric. Might be ready, y'all. Let's see. Whoa. Yep. So you see what I just did, Janelle? Yep. I put the. Cause you want to, you want yeah. those, those skill to be uh, very. To see if the grease was hot right. enough. If it's in, okay. So if you put the fish in the grease a little too early, what will happen? The bread won't stay. If you put it in a cold skin, it'll be it'll turn out real greasy. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. You you definitely wanna. So we'll let that cook. I'm gonna get this cleaned up, and I'll get back to y'all when I flip it. I'm gonna get closer. Y'all see our fish now. I'm gonna turn it over. Look how pretty. Ooh, it's hot, y'all. And this kind of a narrow, a shallow skillet, too. But look at, look, isn't that beautiful, Janelle? Yep. So you want it to be golden brown. Yep. On one side before you put it. Mm-hmm. And that'll take long, and it ain't gonna take long on this side. So uh, roughly about how much time do you think it's I think cooked? we, about five minutes on each side. So five minutes on each side, and mm -hmm. you, what, what do you got a stove on? I got it on medium. Okay, so I on think. medium. I had a, but you know, people like to deep fry fish. And, uh, you know where they go. Okay. See, see, look. 
And then sometimes I won't even use this much grease. Sometimes in there, I don't, I'll, I'll have less oil. Okay. And I'll fry it. Sometimes I'll have less, but I kind of want to deep fry it. I want them kind of to be a little hard. So the more oil you, you have, the harder it will you, be. Because, well, no, no, because you deep frying it. Okay. See, because I'm kind of semi deep frying it. As you all can see. Look at that. Doesn't it look good? Look at the bubble. Be ready to come out in a minute. I see that paprika stuff gave it all that color, the yellow corn gave it that color. So, you know, it, it's still frying. We're going to get ready to take it out. Here you go. Okay. And listen, um, you know, I also, like I say, I did gumbo for a client. I also do catering. So, uh... In the Chicago land area, I'm going to get going to some more cake decorating, show you all some cake decorating techniques. So look at my Facebook page, it's just strictly Eric Brown or simple uh, cooking with Eric Brown, and then it also is simple things. My Facebook page, simple things. I have a lot of pictures of my cakes and desserts that I do. So hey, if you need a caterer, still I can make anything. You know, uh, inbox me. Inbox me your number and I'll get back to you. Okay, she did that. Look at nice I will vouch for his food. I've been eating his cooking for pretty much most of my life and it's doing me good. So, then we're going to take this out. Look at that. Look at that nice brown. That pepper we really gave it a dark brown with that yellow corn. Look at that. Yes, love it. So, we'll come over here. So, so you can see, get, get nice look on the inside. Looking good. Yeah. I know you just take that big old bowl of gumbo, but <laughs> mm. All right. it's like, you got blow on, it's hot. Tastes good. Mm. It's flaky, it ain't overcooked. See, it's flaky. Look at white. Very good, people. Simple. Simple cooking with air. Simple how to fry catfish. Simple as one, two, three. People, cooking does not have to stress you out. You can do it. All you got to do. Look at my YouTube videos. Check my channel out. Subscribe, like, and share. And don't forget to hit the bell so you'll be notified every time that I put up a new video. God bless. Treat each other right. I'm talking to us. And peace out.